Few days ago, I did the biggest adventure of my life till the date. Climbing Mont Blanc, the highest peak of the Alps and Western Europe. To be honest, I'm not a professional alpinist or having experience in high altitude climbs, but this was my first time to go beyond 4000 meters club and that to Mont Blanc, the highest of the Alps. And this is my story of Mont Blanc, a challenge to myself. We started our journey from Chamonix Valley, which is also called as the capital of alpinism and is usually a base village for Mont Blanc. It's a beautiful valley surrounded by the mountains from where you can find stunning views of Mont Blanc massif and also other mountains. We arrived at Chamonix in the afternoon and collected our rental equipments. While admiring the beauty of village, we had a tasty lunch at one Indian restaurant in a valley and it was really delicious. जेवण कसं म्हटलं श्रीकांतला डायरेक्ट पेंटिंग उद्या श्रीकांत छान आहे खूप छान लेकर After having a good lunch at Chamonix Valley, we started heading towards Le Fayet train station. So currently we are in Chamonix and we are going towards Le Fayet from where we are going to take tram to Mont Blanc. And with that tram we will go to Nid de Aigle hut and that will be our uh, staying hut for today. And definitely I'll keep you updated and see you in the route. As soon as we hopped on the train, we were greeted with the stunning views of Mont Blanc massif. The snow-capped mountains surrounded us, and it was really a sight to behold. It was a short but beautiful journey. So currently, I am in Le Fayet, and from here we are going to take tram to Mont Blanc to meet the Aigle Head, and we are going to stay there. So we have our last train at three. So here is our tram. Now here you can buy tickets of Tram du Mont Blanc. On enlève le sac. Okay. The journey on the tram way du Mont Blanc was really beautiful with stunning views of surrounding mountains. We were looking at the Mont Blanc massif and trying to find out our hut's location. Overall, it was one of the best train rides in the Euro. with tram to Mont Blanc we can come at this point and from here here to walk for 5 minutes to reach at refuge near the igle and currently we are walking just look at the view that side there is less houses it is still in the clouds i can't see wow now when you are about to reach at the refuge they need a glay Here you can see one memorial. I don't know if you know or not. So in 1966 there was one aeroplane accident here in the glacier of Mont Blanc, and also Indian nuclear scientist Homi Jahangir Baba. He also died here. So this was the kind of memorial built by French government and Indian government and inaugurated by India's Prime Minister Narendra Modi. Now Mont Blanc massif is really big. It's really massive. So there is the Gute hut. Tomorrow our target will be that hut, that spaceship like hut. And in this hut we'll stay. Here is a room 
for seven people and just look at the view you so our plan for tomorrow is we will leave early at five and uh, we will head towards Gute Hut and uh, our plan is to reach at Gute Hut before three in the evening and uh, we'll stay there and day after tomorrow we'll head towards summit and we'll have summit push early in the morning and let's see how it goes if weather allows we'll be on the summit finger crossed but as of now weather is good just there are some little clouds at the top but yeah I'll definitely keep you updated and see you soon now currently I'm at refuge near the Igle and just look at the location of this hut with a beautiful view and that side there is Mont Blanc in the clouds I hope tomorrow weather will be fine and we can see the views <laughs> evening at this hut was really mesmerizing we saw a beautiful sunset from this hut and this sunset was the best sunset in my life till the date so good morning and welcome to the day number two and it's 4.45 and we are living to Gute Hut and the weather is clear I can see moon and also some people are heading for summit so let's go Now it's 6.15 in the morning and we are about to reach at Tetris hut. I guess within half an hour or one hour we'll be at Tetris hut. I can see it from here. Just look at that mountain range. The sunlight is falling on them. And it's looking beautiful here also and look at this side Tetris and Gute Hut let's go From here, I can see Tetris hut. Just look there. We have to cross this small glacier. And that side, there is good head at top. And also, there is a grand couloir, the dangerous part of the trek. It's around there somewhere. Let's go. So finally at Tetris hut, 3140 meters and still we have to cross this section. There is Grand Kulbo and that side there is her hut, Kuta hut. So we'll quickly have some refreshment, eat some snacks and then we'll head to our next journey. You will often see so many helicopters on this mountain, either for rescue or refueling the hut's grocery. After having a meal at hut, we roped up for Grand Couloir, also known as the Death Gully on Mont Blanc. We left the Tetris hut and heading towards the next hut, Gute Hut. But before that, we have to cross Grand Couloir, the dangerous path, and we are about to reach at that spot. right there look at this people are crossing Kulwar and it's calm today which is a good news hopefully we'll cross it before rockfall 
Grand Couloir is just a 100 meter section and the only section on Mont Blanc where your life is not in your hand. On an average, after each 30 minutes, rockfall occurs. And it's not a normal rockfall, but huge rocks roll down with the speed of approximately 50 to 60 kmph. So, successfully crossed the Grand Couloir. Good to hit that spaceship like hut. I guess it will take more one and a half hour because the scrambling is exhausting. <laughs> so finally at Gauta Hut. This is a new Gauta Hut and here it's old. So after coming inside the hut, you can find this room to take off your gears. You can put all here. We had a dinner early at 6.30 p.m which is a normal time in mountains and then went to our room and tried to sleep early. Let me warn you, due to high altitude, you won't sleep properly throughout the climb. So, welcome to final day of summit and today is 3 in the morning. It's 11th of August and we are doing summit push and we just left the Gute hut and now still more eight or nine hundred meters to achieve. Let's go. Srikant, Shubham and Somnath. And also there are some people yeah, coming. Boys. Come on, let's go. So yeah. we left the Gute head behind. Sunrise is about to happen. And here is our hiking path. Just look. By the time sun was coming out and we could see those oranges shade in the sky, we saw some stunning views of the mountain and the glacier around us. Currently we are near to Dome du Gute and here you can find one big crevasse. I don't know now because of lighting you can see it or not but here is one big crevasse that side also on this side and there is one snow bridge we have to cross this. Let's go. So here is the big crevasse. So currently we are at Dome the Buddha and from here I can see summit and also beautiful sunrise. Now here there is summit, there is Valot Hut and that side sunrise is happening. And everybody is feeling well. So our next stop is at that emergency shelter, Violet Hut and then we'll directly go for summit push. I've never been to this much altitude, currently we are about 4400 meters and each step from here that I will take, that will be my highest point. The air was thin up there and it made every step a real effort. So, finally at Violet Hut, an emergency shelter, we'll take break and then we'll head over to our next journey. Just look at the views. After having a short break at Violet Hut, few of our team members started feeling cold and sick. So they decided to go back to the Gute Hut. In the mountains, it's very important to know your body and take wise decisions. We all never crossed 4000 meters before, so it was an achievement for all of us. I really appreciate efforts of all of us. Now the last section is remaining. Huh? And Prasanna and Shubham, we are open game, are they? pushing to summit. Uh, other members, they had 
altitude sickness so they went back to Gute Hut but we are planning to do it let's see hopefully we will do it summit look at the view So, the final summit push. Bravo! Yo! Bravo! Bravo! Yo. Bravo. Bravo. Yo. So, finally, on the Mont Blanc summit. Phew. And we made it! Yo! So finally, on the summit of Mont Blanc. Woo! Superman Prasanna. Woo! Yo! Just look at the views. On a plus ouais ouais on a on a plus de bruit. So this side it's Italy and there is Madhon. I still remember all those moments at summit. This was definitely the hardest thing that I have ever done. We stood there surrounded by the huge arcs and we saw some amazing views. It was truly an amazing sense of achievement.